my channel. Today is Sunday. We're having a nice self-care Sunday, as you can see. I just did a hair mask. I washed my hair. I did a little face mask, and now I'm just letting my skin breathe for the day. I like partially vlogged this morning. As you guys saw, I went to the gym in Justin's apartment because we went out to dinner last night, and then he had work this morning. So when he went to work, I just worked out and then walked back to my apartment. I made some breakfast, listened to some podcasts, and now I'm showered and clean. It's one o'clock now. I'm very excited to just kind of like chill on my couch all day. I have so many new things that I want to show you guys in this apartment. So this is going to be like a big update. I got my coffee table yesterday. I took the day off from vlogging just because I was like running around buying a bunch of decor and other things for the apartment. But I think I'm like pretty much done now. Everything is arriving. My kitchen table is coming this week. I ordered that yesterday. I have some decor things. So I'm just going to chill for probably like two hours, get a video up because I have like four days of vlog footage. I'm going to edit and then I'm going to go on a little walk, get some groceries. So I'll see you guys when I'm a little bit more put together looking. Hello everybody, it's about three hours later now. I have gotten a lot of stuff done. Actually, it's been a very productive but lazy Sunday. I have just really enjoyed sitting on my couch all day with a candle burning, being alone. I love it. I love it so much. I could do this every day of my life. Anyway, I'm about to make this video public. Here we go. I've uploaded like all of these within like the past week. So make sure you guys are up on the videos. So I figured I would show you guys some updates and kind of like what I got from Ikea and TJ Maxx yesterday. So I, I also went to Bath and Body Works, of course. Got a candle, it's burning right now. This is my coffee table. I really like it. It's the LAC coffee table from Ikea. It was $30 dollars and I just think it honestly works perfectly with everything else and I really wanted something neutral to pair with this so this is actually a table mat and I just put that there and then my Chanel book and some almonds and my TV remote and then a little coaster I also got these pillows from Ikea they're really nice they're like a thicker linen type color and I think these just kind of go perfectly with the whole neutral vibe of it all. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite part. So this is actually meant to have plants hanging from and I could not find hanging plants anywhere. I kept looking in Ikea last minute, I actually got this plant and it was in a pot, but I just took them out of the pot, like I ripped them up. So I just placed them in here and I think it looks so adorable. And then obviously this and this, I don't really know what to do with yet. Same with like wall decor. And I cannot wait to get my table and chairs. It's gonna go right there. But while I was waiting for my video to update, I washed and dried while they're drying right now all my knives. My knife set just came in from Amazon. So I like this cause it's like neutral too. So while my video was uploading, I did that. And then I actually made some changes in my food cabinet. I just kind of like switch some things around and then put a couple things in like bins up here. We have like pasta. All my baking supplies are back there like flowers and sweeteners and then these are like little chocolate snacks. Some smart sweets are back there. Chia seeds. These are like chips and stuff. Catalina crunch. Some oats. All of my coconut oils are back there. All of my nut butters. My coffee. Stevia. Coconut oil and then some more baking ingredients. So that's what we did there and then for my bedroom I added two more pillows because my sheet set actually came with four of these So I bought another pillow at Ikea for both side and then I think it really makes it look a lot nicer And then I got this at TJ Maxx and then for my closet I need to get a light in here or something. I got these three bins uh, at Ikea yesterday They're humongous and they're really sturdy and then I for the most part like color-coded my closet and just organized it a little bit more to my liking like as you guys can see a little better here like I have colors neutrals whites colors this is like short sleeves and then long sleeves colors back there um, there's like two things and then whites creams gray to black I'm actually about to go take a walk to the grocery store just because I want to get a few other like pantry staples and a couple things for the week. I need like bananas and I need to move my car. So that's what we're about to go do. It is seriously so nice out. Like I can't even get over this. It just like feels like September. It's amazing. Wish you could see me smiling. <laughs> I 
just got back from the store. It's 5.30, I just ordered food. Caviar was doing a deal and it was like $10 off your order of $10 or more. So naturally, I got Hip City Veg tonight for $3, so let's go. I had a nice little walk. I got a good parking spot, I think. I don't know, I think I'm allowed to park there. If I get a ticket, I'm gonna be really upset when I edit this. But I just got a few things. I don't know if you guys remember from my last vlog, but I made cookies because I said that I like to always have something sweet in the house. Well, they turned out like shit, so I'm gonna try to make this zucchini bread that's also healthy. It's like gluten-free, vegan. You can make it sugar-free. And you get a good thing of vegetables in there. So to make that, I needed some zucchini. So I got some zucchini. I got some dairy-free yogurt. And I got some bananas. They have this store, and it's like Dollar General on steroids, and it's called like DGX. I went in there to look for rubbing alcohol and stainless steel cleaner because no one has it around here. I got a couple little Halloween-y thingies because fall is my favorite season ever. And each thing was like $3. I thought this was cute. Trick or treat. I also got a dish towel. It says falling leaves and football, please. And then I got this like floral harvest decor type thing. So if you're watching this mom, don't yell at me for spending. You would have bought it too. I got some grapes. I got a cucumber and three bags of rice. So I'm gonna make this zucchini bread while I wait for my food and I'll show you guys how I make it. So the recipe is actually really easy. This is it right here. I will link it down below. It's Chocolate Cover Katie. You guys know I'm literally obsessed with her and her blog. It's just mixing all the dry ingredients and then adding the rest of them. One and a quarter cups of spelt white or oat flour. I use spelt. Half a cup of cocoa powder. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. Three quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder. Half a teaspoon spoon baking soda, two thirds of a cup of sugar. I'm actually going to use this, the monk fruit sweetener. I like this a lot. It's a really good sugar replacement, zero calories, obviously. I also got this big bag at Home Goods for $7.99 which we love. And then I have to put the um, zucchini in the food processor and some yogurt, some coconut oil, vanilla, and chocolate chips. And then you just bake it for like 35 minutes. The bag has been secured. I just put the bread in the oven and this showed up to my door. Very excited about it. This is my order. It's the udon noodle salad. And once again, there's no fucking noodles in it. I'm actually pissed, but it's loaded with arugula, cabbage, scallions. The black bean dressing is just so good and it has some crunchy little baby peanuts in there. And then the plant-based chicken. My dishwasher is super loud, but I'm gonna go eat this and start that new Netflix show. My dishwasher is a little loud. Hold on, I'm gonna just... Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. I know it's beeping, Jesus. This is the third time I'm gonna try taking this freaking bread out of the oven because it's literally just not cooking. Like, I don't understand. It's still jiggling. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, my life is actually a joke. Okay, let's test it one more time. If this doesn't work, like, I, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna keep cooking it, I guess. That's all I can do. Okay, it looks like we're almost done, honestly. All right, we're gonna put this in here for seven more minutes and see how it goes because I am impatient and also I don't really like that Netflix show. That's the tea. It has now been an hour and a half. I put this in at 6.05 and it's still not done. I actually caved and had some so delicious ice cream because I just needed something, you know? Gotta end my day with something sweet. Anyway, okay guys, 18th time is the charm, correct? Ah, oh, shit, I almost dropped it. It just looks so sad at this point. Like, I, I don't even know. Okay, well, it's not done. And I'm putting this in for 10 more minutes. And if it's not done by then, I'm throwing it away. Guys, wait till you see how bad this is. Okay, so. So I ended up taking it out of the pan and putting it on a cookie sheet and it completely just melted. Like, I don't know why I can't do anything right. You see this shit? This is just an absolute joke. Anyway, that's how my night went. Two hours in the oven, still not cooked. Anyway, I am going to end off this portion of the vlog and I will see you guys in the morning.